Rich is coming over today and I want you both to look presentable. Coco, get up! We have things to do and people to see. Why? This is insane! I was, I was sleepy! Well, once you get up, you won't feel that way. All right, come on, everybody get up, up, up. You too, Nora. You stand with us until your TT comes to pick you up. When is she coming to get her dog? Hello? I said, when is she coming to get her dog? I don't know, and why are you being so loud? Hurry up, we're coming. Oh, you ladies look so cute, even you, Nora. Now fix your faces. Rhea, we're tired, and we were up all night watching movies. Exactly, and why do we have to be up to see your friend? Because mom said I can't go out with Rich unless I bring my two annoying little sisters. Oh, you all are up early? It's because Rhea made us get up so early. And let me guess, Rhea, you cleaned this whole entire house too, huh? Yes, I certainly did. You know, it would be very helpful if you did this more often and not just when you're trying to go out. I'm working on it, Mom. Mm -hmm. Sure. <laughs> well, you all look nice. Thanks, Mama. I mean, I am excited to be going trick-or-treating. Oh, me too. Oh, I'm, I'm going to get all the candy. I'm going to eat it all up, especially because you never let us eat it any other time during the year. You'll thank me when you're adults. Your pearly whites will be shiny and you'll be cavity-free. I'm a kid. I want cavities. What? No, you don't. Enjoy it while it lasts. Oh, my goodness. He's here. He's here. Oh, how does my hair look? Is there anything in my teeth? No, relax, weirdo. Oh, goodness. Um, ma'am, get a hold of yourself and calm down. This is not that. Oh, this is definitely not that. Girl, forget it. I'll get the door. All right, now fix your hair. Well, hello, Rich. It's nice to meet you, Mrs. Street. Oh, you're so polite. Thank you. My parents wouldn't have it any other way. Hey. Hey. These are my sisters. Hey, I'm Artie. Nice to meet you. And you, let me guess, you must be Momo. The name's Coco. Coco. <laughs> I know, I know, I was just joking. You're a tough one. I'm just observant. Well, it is a pleasure to meet you, Coco. Can I have some money? Um, I don't really have any on me. Well, that's a silly name to have if you don't have any money. Your name should be broke instead of rich. Coco! <laughs> well, now that that's over, let's watch the movies. Oh, movie, movie, movie. My pick, my pick. They've already been picked. Oh, great. You all look after each other and do not split up. Three, you and Rich will keep proper distance. Four, Coco, listen. And five, do not eat any candy before you all come home so we can make sure it's safe. No problem, Mr. Streety. All right, let's go. But first, bags. Coco. I want my bag push. Thank yeah. you. Trick or treat. Sorry. Thank you. Have your shelves full of Halloween. <laughs> <Hey, spooky. laughs> Okay, you all be safe and be home by six. Chick a tree, smell my feet, give me something good to eat. Okay, can we not say that when we go to these houses? Party pooper. <laughs> oh, let's go to that house over there. Oh, okay, okay, I bet you I get the most candy. Okay. Okay, I'll give you a couple more. No, 
guys, I got an idea, right? How about let's all separate and see who get the most candy? Rhea can come with me, and Ari and Coco, you two can go together. Oh, no, 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 no. How quickly we forget, Mr. Broke. <laughs> Rule number two, no splitting up. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Well, let's go to some more houses. Here's a special surprise to keep those chompers nice and clean. Y'all split that between the four of y'all now. Um, I'm sorry, but excuse me, ma'am. I think you forgot to give us the candy. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Have a good day. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> All right, you guys. It's almost seven. One last house. Let's do it. Hey, I'm having a lot of fun with you. Whoa, wait a minute. Number one and number three are the rules. Number one, do not hold my sister's hand. Number three, keep a distance, Mr. Broke. But since you can't listen, give me some candy before I trick for you not giving me a treat. Oh, well, you're so embarrassing. Mm -hmm. One last house. Yep, following the mm. rules. Mm -hmm. And Mr. Broke? Um, we did not. And stop calling him that. Next time, she stays home. Next time, I want one to come. Alrighty, stop. Let's go through this candy and see what we got. Let's focus, people. Coco, where is your candy? I, I don't know. It was here and then now it's not. Did you eat it? No, Mama, I really didn't. I promise. Well, we all just had one, but that was by mistake because we forgot, but that was just one. Really? Look, I find it hard to believe that everyone has candy except for you. It is weird that your candy disappeared. If you ate it, just be honest so we can move on in life. I did not eat the candy. Mm -hmm. So it just got up and walked away? No, it probably disappeared when you and Mr. Brunk were over there trying to get close and hold hands. <laughs> Did what? I mean, I'm just no, Mrs. Trudy wasn't like that. Oh, she's never coming with me again. <sighs> okay, wait. Back to you, Coco, and I will deal with you and Rhea in a second. Where is the candy? Mama, I really don't know. Let me see your bag. Oh, looks like I found the problem. Uh, oh, that's that one is not my bag. That's Ari's bag. Coco, you know good or bad. That's not mine. Oh, I mean, I mean, that's Rian's bag. Uh, Coco, no, it's not. No, that's no, okay. not. Okay, Coco, stop. You know this is your bag, and it's okay. We will get you some snacks tomorrow. Well, actually, Mrs. Streety, Coco, you can have my candy. Really? Yeah, I'm sure. I had a lot of fun with you today. Rhea? He's a keeper. <laughs> hey, Coco, what's your plan for today? Hmm, I don't really have many choices because I'm only nine. Uh, so I guess that just means I'll be right here. Oh, unless you have something planned for us. If you do, I'll, I will offer to pay, but I don't really have any money. No, I don't have any plans, ma'am. Well, how about we make today a relaxed day? How does that sound? Just like every other day, parents make up boring. That is not made up, and it's not boring. It's a day to let your body wind down. But what if my body just wants to wind up? I can't force it to wind down. It's activating. <laughs> Girl, calm down. Okay, so today is a day to relax. What that means is Coco doesn't bother Mama unnecessarily, Coco is not loud, and Coco isn't destructive. After sitting back and listening, I'm just wondering where do the rules for Mama come in? Oh, those. Well, Mama doesn't have to be bothered by Coco. Mama doesn't have to listen to Coco be loud. And last but not least, Mama doesn't have to hear or see Coco be destructive. How does that sound? Just like the other ones you already said. I thought yours were going to be... Nope. Nope, 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 nope. These are the rules and that's about it. All right, Coco, have fun relaxing, and I'll see you in a few. 
So do I have to starve today? <laughs> You'll be fed. You are something else. <laughs> How is relaxing fun? That's why I need a puppy. Because if I had a puppy, I wouldn't have these problems. Now I got to find something to do. I'm sick of playing with dish. Play a tablet, it was blowing. Uh, hmm. Oh, I know. A little prank with a different voice is not really violating the rules, right? Oh, I guess we'll never know until we try. Okay, here we go. Just remember, if I go down, we go down together. Wish me luck. Hello? Uh, hi, ma'am. This is Sandra from FedNex. Oh, hey. Yes, I put a request in over a week ago about my lost package. Yes, ma'am. That's why I'm actually calling. It's been brought to our attention that you were trying to sneak in a baby hippo oh. into the U.S. And that's unacceptable. I'm sorry, what? My package had nothing to do with a hippo. Ma'am, calm down. We have evidence that shows it did. Well, I'm telling you, it didn't. Look, now during this call, you could be honest or the police are going to be at your door, okay? I understand why you may have been trying to get the hippo, but that's illegal. I was not trying to get a hippo here. You clearly were trying to get a ride to and from work to support your children, right? What? I have a car! That's understood, but I do know that gas is high in the U.S. and having a hippo, you'll be able to save. I wouldn't be riding a smelly hippo, Sandra. You're getting upset with me when I'm just trying to help because you're the one that's about to go to jail for smuggling in a baby hippo. I'm sorry. Listen, who do I need to talk to to clear up this situation? Hmm, let's see. Well, that would be me. Well, talking to you is getting me nowhere. Well, I do see that it's getting you somewhere, and that somewhere is mad. Ma'am, do you have a bad temper? No, no, I don't. I'm just frustrated. Well, do you want to talk about it? Um, are you a therapist, or do you work at FedNex? Again, ma'am, I don't want any problems. I'm just trying to be here for you since no one else is. Ma'am, how do I just locate my package that's been missing? Oh, it's been located, and there's a 60-pound baby hippo with it. <sighs> See, here you go again. I don't know anything about a baby hippo. Well, what was in the package? I don't think that's any of your business. See, see, I knew you would say that. I told the feds you would say that. And guess what? Guess what? You gonna be arrested. You took that baby from his mama. I did not. I need to talk to a manager. <gasps> you, you know what? You're right. Because I can't do this. I can't deal with no hippo thieves. <laughs> I'm not a thief. <laughs> you know what? One moment, please. I have Ava Streety on the line, the one who's trying to sneak the baby hippo into the U.S. I am not. Ma'am, please calm down and explain to me your situation. Well, I don't have a situation. My package is missing and I've been trying to retrieve it. And your employee is telling me something about a baby hippo. Oh, well, I do understand your concern and I can see how this can be frustrating. The reason I ask about your situation is because my employee has let me know that you may have some mental illness or issues going on. What? I just want my package. Ma'am, calm down because if you don't, the police will be at your door shortly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The other person said that already. Oh, and you still haven't learned. Anyway, ma'am, why are you trying to get a baby hippo over here? 
Oh, wait, I see it here in the notes. It's for you and your children to get a ride back and forth to school and work? I told you, I don't know anything about a baby hippo. I don't want a hippo. I don't even like hippos. I just want my package. But you won't tell us what's in it. It's collagen lotion to keep my wrinkles away. <laughs> Excuse me? Oh, oh, nothing. You know, let me do some research here to see if possibly the baby hippo took the wrinkle cream because they could have been in the same package. Listen, I'm not doing this. Call me back with someone who has some sense. <laughs> oh, 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 let's call her back one more time just for the heck of it. Oh, yes. Hi, ma'am. You can't just hang up on us like that, okay? We're trying to fix your situation. Now, how much did you say the baby hippo weighed? Well, I didn't say a number. But let's start with 30 days on punishment. <laughs> you are not sleep. I told you it was a day to relax and you have my blood pressure sky high. Uh, shall we, mama? No, don't sorry mama me. Well, I'm happy that you finally found a wrinkle cream that's walking, except for the one wrinkle at the top, but other than that, your skin looks great. All righty, ma'am, so I have all the supplies you need. Mama, I got this. I'm sure I'm going to get a A plus plus bonus points. Well, how are you going to get that if you haven't even started? Coco, this project is due tomorrow. There is no reason you're not done yet. Okay, 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 okay. I promise I'm going to get started right now and make magic happen. Okay, good. Now, do you need help? You know I love science projects. No, not at all. I have the perfect idea of what to do. I'm going to do a like, mm -hmm, and I'm going to put a little, mm -hmm, and I'm going to do a little, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's going to be so good. Okay, well, you do know the topic is gravity, right? It is? Coco! I'm just kidding. I know gravity. It's what keeps us on the ground. Okay. Well, do what you have to do to get things done, please. On it, Mama. I promise. You're going to be so, 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 so proud of me. Yeah, I hope so. Ooh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have the best project in the class. And you're like, Coco, you did that. Coco, how'd you do that? Coco, Coco, yeah, I know. <laughs> Bee! Hey, girl. Yeah, it has been a busy day. Oh, yeah, Coco's doing her science project. Yes, yeah, she has it under control. I know, I know in the past she made a huge mess and stained the walls, but she's better now.
Mm-mm. fell asleep on the floor. Mm-mm. Girl, get up because it's science project day. Uh. Mm, great. Let's see what you came up with, my little scientist. Come on, let me see your poster board. Oh no, it's really nothing. Come on, silly, let me see. I know you went above and beyond. Uh, uh, mm-hmm. Show me. Um, well, what I have here is what I like to call a... <gasps> What in the world is that? Please tell me this is another one of your jokes. No, but if you need me to tell you a joke, I can. So there was a lobster and a rooster, right? No, don't tell me a joke. Coco, where is your project on gravity? Well, I was not really planning to present until I got to class, but I guess I could show you. Um, gravity is what holds us down. Today, class, I present to you gravity. Voila, magic. <laughs> No, this is a joke. Where is your real project, Coco? You think you're just gonna go to class, drop a piece of paper, and say, voila? Yes. Go, go get ready for school. Go. Uh, you still think I'm shooting for the A plus with, with the bonus points? Yeah. Uh, I don't like that one. So, what's it gonna be? I didn't think that this would be so hard. Every year, I'm prepared for Halloween. I know exactly what I'm gonna be, but this year, I can't even think of anything. Oh, how about a cat? Uh, no, nah, too simple. Um, oh, a dinosaur. They're like big and weird looking. I, I, I'm not really going for weird. More like cute, fun, rememberable. Oh, okay. Um, let's see. How about a potato? Okay, never mind. Maybe not a potato. Look, Coco, I'm out of suggestions at this point. I mean, I do have more, but clearly you don't like anything I suggest. Mama, I need a costume for my age. <sighs> Fine. I miss when you were a baby. I chose the best costumes for you. Let's see. You are an egg one year, then a pumpkin. <gasps> Oh, and that one time I dressed you up as the sun. <sighs> Fine, never mind. I'll let you do the honors and you do the choosing. Oh, 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 oh I, I think I got it. Okay, okay, what? Uh, I, I think I'll keep it to myself. Well, do you need my help? Uh... No, but I need your money. Wow. <laughs> Fine, but your limit is $30. $30? Mama, please, can you add a zero to that? What? Absolutely not. You clearly have lost your mind. Well, fine. Thank you. I do appreciate everything that you're able to give, even if it's only enough for me to buy one shoe. Girl, stretch it and make it work. Okay, will do. I'll be back in a few to check on you. Okie dokie, I'll be right here trying to make this $30 feel like $300. <laughs> yeah, and not a penny over. Fun things to be for Halloween. Oh, maybe I could be a rapper. Little Bo Peep lost her sheep. Jack and Jill went up the hill. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. Mary had a little lamb. Then let me never coming back, no. Nah. Oh, how about if I'm a grandma? <laughs> uh, all right, you guys, come on down and get you some butter cookies. Uh, probably not. Granny's gonna think I'm making fun of her. Oh, I could be annoyed. Hmm. I really hope I got 110% on a math test. Hmm. I feel like it's going to be too many of those. Oh, that's a good idea. Maybe a dancer. <laughs>
people with my singing voice. <gasps> oh, 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 here's one. I could be a veterinarian. Hmm. All right, you all, uh, big fella, you, you'll be good. And, and you just keep on roofing, okay? And, and Miss Giraffe, I, I know you haven't reached your height yet, but you'll get there. Just keep it up. Keep taking the medicine. And, and, and DJ, you, you just keep eating your nanas, okay? All right. pretty amazing. Thanks. Alrighty then, I guess I'll just go relax until you're done. <sighs> Alrighty, it's finally here. <gasps> and it's just what I expected. Okay, my eyes are closed. I'm excited to see what you are. <laughs> okay then, I, I guess you can open your eyes. Okay, one, two, three. cute, fun, and rememberable, and it seems that people really like me, so I decided to be Coco, and I spent your money on the bowl. I have some of those upstairs that I bought for a dollar, Coco. You didn't have to spend $30 on those. So, so you do like it, or you don't? Now, now, Coco, you know that's a no-no. Every time we turn our heads, you're always into trouble. With pretty big tails and a smile that makes us giggle. What can we say? That's just Coco being Coco. Now, now, Coco. You know that's a no-no Every time we turn our heads you're always into trouble With pretty big tails and a smile that makes us giggle What can we say? That's just Coco being Coco 